Man, my favorite part of making making this video is when I said it's waffling time and I just waffle all over these things, man. Truly a moment of all time. Hello, people of the internet. Spaz here. Welcome to another 1.4.4 video. And today, I am testing out the waffle iron. Now, how do you get this weapon? Well, you get this weapon from defeating Megdusa. Which is a hell of a task to do. Nobody ever talks about this weapon, and I'm going to do it. No one can stop me. Alright, so. As you can see. Waffle iron inflicts flame upon contact with enemies. Shoots waffle projectile. Do a hefty amount of damage. It is auto swing. It just makes it 10 times better already. It has 61 base melee damage, 6% critical strike, has fast feed, average knockback, and of course it's Waffle Time. Referencing the YouTuber, Waffle Time. And many other things. Man, my favorite part of making that making this video is when I said it's waffle in time and I just waffle all over these things, man. Truly a moment of all time. But as you can see, when I'm beating these two enemies here, we're getting a DPS of around 800 because it's below and above to a single enemy. We get around, you know, 200, 220 DPS. Now we're kind of a little bit below 200. But that's okay. Projectile gets about the same as if you were actually hitting the enemy. Slightly less, but not too much less. But let's not just test it on these dummies. Let's test it on some bosses. So, here we go. Alright. So we have to have Thu here. I'm just gonna waffle all over him. So, as you can see, health goes down a sizable amount, and the waffles deflect off of him. He's transforming, like a lot of weapons do now. And as you can see, he's reflecting the flame, and we do hit him. Decimating all of these servants, making it a nice crowd control weapon. As you can see, eyeball here stands no chance. But this was a pretty hard mode boss, and this is a hard mode weapon. So we're gonna test it on some hard mode bosses. No Terraria YouTuber would ever test a late game weapon on a pretty hard mode boss. Who would ever do that? We have destroyer here. And the only reason I summon a destroyer is because I want to see what it does to the clump. Not horrific. But not excellent either. Let's try the twins. Turn on a melee buff. Oh, that's not the right one. Alright. Let's try the waffle line. So the health is kind of going down pretty slow. If this was an actual playthrough, I would not recommend it. Using this weapon. Or something like this, because you would definitely run out of time. So, based on conclusions that I've just made, this weapon is not super excellent against mech bosses on its own. Which is typically where it would be used since this is where you get it from. But it could be good for things like events. So let's try that. Okay, the pirates are here, guys. Keep in mind this is for the worthy pirates. And I have no damage increasing buffs on. But knockback is not too excellent. 
if I do say so myself. But I will say, the ranged waffle attack is very nice. Especially for people playing melee who need some distance. The pirates can't even get close to me. But yeah, I'm still doing a somewhat significant amount of damage to them. Making life for me much easier, and life for them suck that much more. So the pan didn't fare super great against the pirates. But it didn't do horrible either. So there, we'll try the goblin army, the hard mode goblin army, and we'll see how it does against that. Let me switch into some melee gear you would have at the time. Getting this real quick. So here's the goblin army. And as you can see, this combination is definitely shredding them. But it was expected to shred these enemies because these are pretty hard mode mobs. Just with more health. Projectile works very nicely. This one's works very nicely. That's quite good against the goblin summoners. Get it close. Look at the damage. Granted, that was combined with my buff from titanium armor. Still, so, all in all, it's a pretty okay weapon. For the time you get it in the game, though, I don't know if it's super worth it, especially having to defeat the challenge that is Medusa. Believe me, that's very painful. But that doesn't take from the fact that it's a somewhat decent weapon. That is great for early hard mode but yeah guys that's going to do it for me for today i am very sorry my medusa guide isn't out yet I'm in a lot of trouble with summoner but hopefully i'll have a grasp on it soon and that'll be out for you guys to enjoy subscribe if you want more content from me and i'll talk to you guys in the next video Goodbye.